All right, we all know the song Space is so cool from Markiplier, okay? And I can't help but agree with that. Space is very, very, very cool. And it's very interesting to learn about. But there is a dark side to it, okay? I'm, I'm be honest with you. It is pretty terrifying. And what I mean by terrifying is the way these objects in space move around. Now, of course... We can't hear anything in space. We can only observe and see and also pick up some sort of vibrations and movement from these objects in our solar system. But scientists from a long time ago have figured out a way to transfer these objects moving and how they move and translate it into a more audible way of hearing things now this video popped up on my uh on my recommended today and i thought we should take a look at it we should take a good look at it because it's very interesting and also quite terrifying because holy shit these these sounds are freaking scary as fuck so this is the aforementioned video, the Mr. Incredible Becoming Uncanny Space Object Sounds. Okay, now don't worry about the Mr. Incredible, that, that's really kind of just there for like some kind of aesthetical purposes. Uh, like it's a meme, it's a meme, so it's just a meme. So, um, but what I really want to focus on is the sounds coming from, uh, coming from this. So, so let's begin. Okay. Okay, so honestly, the Earth is pretty just static. I mean, honestly, it's it's not really terrifying. It's really like the sounds of the wind coming from the planet. That's what our uh what our planet vibrates that's the vibration how our planet moves um that's what we're hearing from that that's what i assume we're hearing the wind and also the water um the 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 planet moves it doesn't just rotate it vibrates so what we're hearing is that vibration um it's just like i said transferred from a from an unhearable format to something that humans can actually hear. So this one is the sun. Now this one's a little bit more eerie. This one's a lot more eerie because it's a ball of hot fucking flames. Venus as well, pretty terrifying. It sounds like a hollow, like, it sounds like a hollow, um, like a hollow pipe, someone like blowing into a hollow pipe, like, like it's, it's, um, a hollow metal pipe, not a plastic one, a hollow metal pipe. It's pretty terrifying. Yeah. Now here's Pluto. Sounds like someone's ringing a, uh, sounds like someone's like rubbing their hand across like a, like a um a wine glass, like a big wine glass. This is like that terrifying sound. I don't know why Pluto makes that noise. Okay, Ursa, which is one of Jupiter's moons. It just sounds like really distorted static. It sounds like something from a video game as well. Now this is where we get into the more terrifying ones. This sounds like something completely alien, like something not of, like, this world. This I've heard before. Very interesting. Very interesting sound. So, the thing about Ganymede is it's made out of... I, I don't know what the material, the planet, or not the planet, the moon is made of... But um, scientists are saying it's it's what the what the planet is made out of that or the moon is made out of that. Uh, what makes the sounds like what makes the vibrations sound so different from each other, like the materials. 
So this is Mercury. Let's hear what Mercury is. Sounds like an airplane. Followed by, yeah, jet plane engines. It's not terrifying. It's just weird. It's just weird. Like I, like I said, these, these noises are very peculiar and also very terrifying. And Nared? I have no clue. Like, honestly, I have no clue how these sounds. Like, how they manage to get, like, the frequencies for these. Um... It just sounds so weird. Uh, so, Make Make's moon. Oh, that sounds otherworldly. Not gonna lie. Okay, yeah. Mimus sounds like the Death Star. This, this is what the Death Star might sound like, honestly. It's still pretty terrifying. That is crazy. That is crazy. Okay, so here's Saturn. I've heard Saturn. I've heard this before. It's pretty... It's it's really weird. I still find it so interesting, the sounds. It It's like... You go... You, you uh, look at Saturn, and you just see absolute beauty. It's such a beautiful-looking planet. But when you hear, like, how the planet moves and also, like, which also includes the winds coming from the uh, planet itself, because Saturn's just a huge ball of gas that uh, spins super fast. So when you hear the sounds of that, you're hearing the wind. Also, you're hearing the rings. You're hearing a lot of stuff coming from this planet when it's, like, transferred into a, a wavelength that humans can listen to. It's just really terrifying. It's a... This... Yeah, this one is actually terrifying. And... Yeah. It sounds very alien. Very, very alien. Um, but Phobos is actually... Fun fact, the, uh... The Greek god or goddess... Greek god or goddess of, uh, fear. Um, which... Come from the sound... Yeah, I'd be terrified. I'd, I'd, I'd actually it's scary. It's it's like the sounds they use in the it's like the stereotypical alien noise sound that it's making. It's pretty. It's 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 so cool, but it's so terrifying. So cool, but it's so terrifying. Oh, shut up, Mr. Beast. Okay, so that was about it. Honestly, it. It's really terrifying to, you know, listen to these sounds and uh, really get a feel for um, how terrifying it can actually be in space. Because, yes, space is really cool to, uh, like, think about and also is a wonder to behold. However, who knows what we'll be hearing um, years from now when we're uh, in going in not only looking at uh objects in our solar system but also objects in solar systems that are further away from us um which i know is so 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 long away but it is still very cool to take something from our solar system that doesn't make a sound but it vibrates in a very peculiar way and when you transfer it into a into a way that humans can hear and they each come out with different sounds, and some of these sounds come out as completely terrifying. It's it's just very fascinating to me. I think it's really cool. I think it's very, very cool. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, it wasn't very much, but um, I enjoyed making it. Uh, I enjoyed reacting to it. Um, I'm not really the scientific mind. I sort of do this astronomy stuff as more of like a a hobby type thing. I love it to death. It's so cool to look at these uh, objects and then also hear these objects because it just goes to show how um, actual scary, how actually scary it is out there. So 
hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, put a comment down below and uh, I'll do something. Just, you know, I'll react to a video. So thank you guys so much and I'll uh, see you later.